there thank you for stopping by welcome to another video on ANSI's artistry if you're new here please do consider subscribing to support my art channel if you're returning thank you so much for your support let's get on with today's painting today I'll be working on a 16 inch round canvas and I'm gonna be using rainbow colors so I have two shades of each color of the rainbow and it's going to be on a split base half black and half white all my paints are mixed with floatrol and water and all of them have the same consistency i will be listing all the colors that i'll be using in the description below so please do check it out to start with i'm going to layer the base paint half black and half white and i'll be right back So the base paint is done. I'm going to pop the air bubbles. So when I laid down the base paint, my intention was to make it look like a yin yang design. But I left a little bit of gap in the middle where I'm going to layer my rainbow colors. The idea here is to have purple on the bottom and red on top, layer all the colors of the rainbow in between um, and then just use my bound to blow it up. So let's start layering the paints. I'm also going to add zinc white um, by Amsterdam and this is actually a transparent paint. Uh, 
I also want to add gold by Liquitex. Now let's start blowing it out. Perfect. Minimal design, colors of the rainbow, kind of looks like a yin yang. Nothing more to add here. But I'm going to fix the petals a little bit more to give it a little more defined shape now. So here's the close-up, a split base Dutch pour design inspired by the yin yang. Rainbow colors right in the center, each of them blending it to the next color but clearly making its mark on this painting here. I love how the gold is giving a little bit contrast as well. That's the only metallic uh, paint in here. Love how this blends into each other. I love that I could maintain the negative space as well on either side. Makes the painting look very pretty. I'm very satisfied with this painting and if you did like this video and painting do hit that thumbs up button and please do consider subscribing to support my art channel. One other thing that I wanted to mention here was I think it's better to have the orientation of this painting with black on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how that one looks. I think this might be a better orientation but I'm going to check it out when this painting completely dries. But for today this is it. Thanks for being here and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.